you are looking at a rhythm that, that isn't that fast. If you count it up, it's not unusually tachycardic, but you don't see P waves before every QRS, and not every QRS follows a P wave. You actually don't see P waves at all, and it's irregular. Um, the axis is okay. One and two are both facing upright. Um, so this is basically AFib. When it's irregular, um, you have two options. If it's MAT, if there are mul multiple different morphologies of P waves, it's AFib if there's no P waves whatsoever. Um, and in this case, this is just AFib. This next EKG rate is one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, six is quite low. Whenever they're bradycardic, you should always look for third degree heart block. In this case, I look at the PR intervals. You'll notice right down here at the bottom where it says V5, the PR interval is quite long. Then the next QRS, it's really, really short. The next one's kind of in between. Then the next one's short again. When they have a variable PR interval like that, most likely to be third degree heart block. So that's that's probably exactly what this is, is third degree heart block. Um, if you got calipers, you could probably march out all these P waves, and obviously the QRSs march out perfectly. You can see that even without calipers. But this is basically third degree heart block.